All right, guys, I'm here to talk about one thing and one thing only, and that is our boy Tatsuki Fujimoto and his series Chainsaw Man. You see, here's the thing. I have every manga of Chainsaw Man so far as of December 2023. In fact, here's how much of a fan I've become of Tatsuki Fujimoto. I even bought the entire Fire Punch series, if you're aware of that. And yeah, I read Goodbye, Ari. He's got some amazing content. And what I love about this dude is that there's a lot of through lines from his works that pass into the next transformation. And of course, this is his latest stuff. So I'm mostly going to talk about this and why I love it. But I wanted to tell you where it all started. Random recommendation. And here's how the series was described to me. Oh yeah, I'm into Chainsaw Man. It's about this guy who um, can has chainsaws on his head and arms. And his goal in life is to touch boobs. That's all he really wants. You know, that's great. And I was like, what? That sounds ridiculous. It sounds like some of those new animes they have out nowadays where they're just the most absurd situations. You know, someone gets turned into a walking chair and then that's like half the story. Or somebody gets turned into a vending machine and has to survive in the medieval times. I thought it was kind of one of those things. And, and it does kind of start out that way. Like, a man turns into a chainsaw. But in this series, y'all, it gets so deep so deep you don't understand hear me now my favorite character ah oh, tragic tragic what happens to her now of course there's going to be a lot of spoilers here and you will see my feet so i apologize for that but there's going to be a lot of spoilers here so if you haven't seen the anime at the very least you know probably don't want to listen through this whole thing but if you're like i'm curious about this series should i get really into it the answer is 100 percent yes because if you are like me and you like things that are absurd on their face, ridiculous, funny, kind of like a good giggle, and then hit you right in your feelings box where you didn't even know you had a feelings box, this is the series that will, will tickle that itch for you, so to speak. Tickle that taint. Starts with Denji and his story. Super amazing. Dude loves his dog. The dog just happens to be a chainsaw devil who takes over his body. You know, casually. Book two, we got power. She is a fiend, which is someone who dies and gets taken over by a devil. She is a blood fiend, so she's occupied by the blood devil. And then you start to realize, as we go into the third one here, this is the devil hunters, the public devil hunters. Aki and Himino are devil hunters. In fact, Power and Denji are devil hunters now as well. And the whole thing about it is they go and they kill devils, as the name implies. But they have contracts with devils. She has a contract with the ghost devil. He has a contract with the fox devil, I believe. Different devils are more powerful depending on how much they are feared. So, you know, ghosts, they're pretty well feared. So it's a pretty powerful devil. Foxes, in Japanese culture, they can be feared. So they have some power too. But there's one called the tomato devil that he kills as a normal human before he even gets power. It's because nobody's afraid of tomatoes. They're just annoying. Then you realize other people are kind of like dingy. They have these crazy powers where they've been fused with the devil. They're rare, but they exist. And you meet a few different kinds. This is the bomb devil here. She makes him fall in love with her and then breaks his heart at the last minute. And tries to eat his heart out, by the way. Fun fact. This one, ooh, you know, it got a little complicated here, I'll admit. But these are different assassins from all over the world. This one's from China. This one's from Germany, I think. He's contracted with the doll devil, so anyone he touches can turn into a living doll that he possesses, and anyone the doll touches turns into part of his army of dolls. His name's Santa Claus. I can't remember her exactly, but I remember she's a lesbian with like five girlfriends, and they all have crazy powers. And one of them just says, Halloween, Halloween, all the time. And anytime she touches someone and like uses her mysterious power, they just start saying, Halloween, Halloween. And then you realize... That the devil that's working with her, who says Halloween, has an eyeball hanging out of her head. Well, that is the knowledge devil. And what she does when she infects someone or uses her power on someone. She, right here, this crazy one. She gives them all the knowledge in all of the universe. The knowledge that God has. And it drives them insane so that the only word left they can say is Halloween. I mean, just crazy stuff like that just sounds ridiculous. Why is this random girl doing that? And then you realize, <sighs> Makima.
Mm-mm-mm. Makima, Makima, Makima. This is Denji's love from the get-go, okay? She's the one who saves him out of the gutter, convinces him to join the Devil Hunters. And then what do you find out? Well, 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 it looks like Makima herself is the control devil. And she's been running things behind the scene the whole time because it turns out the chainsaw devil is someone who can go straight to hell and back, quite literally. And that does happen. It's pretty wild. So this is the end of that arc, the first arc, that is. Let me see if I can find out what it's called. Here we go. Public safety arc. Yep. He defeats her, as you always do, right? And then he adopts a new version of the control devil as a child. It's kind of bananas. Um, lots of people die. And I know I said there's some spoilers, but there's plenty of things I haven't even talked about yet. Like the whole things with Aki and why he wants to kill the gun devil. The gun devil is their main villain until you find out who's really pulling the strings. Anyway, lots to dig into there. Highly recommend it. I can't get into everything now. It's a short vid. But here, December of 2023, we have the 12th book and the start of the second arc. Her name is Aki. Aki Matsuki, I believe. Aki Mataki. Don't like that. Asa Mitaka. That's her name. Yeah, they start, it turns out they have a headless chicken devil as their class pet for a while. But um, then some things happen. And... Uh-oh, she fell on him. Everyone in class loved this chicken devil because chickens are harmless, so it was more fun than anything. She felt like a loner and isolated. But then she fell on this chicken devil because he was trying to get everyone to play, and she completely killed him. Okay, that's a real bump bum. But that's what happened. And there's so many amazing, beautiful scenes like this throughout the series where he has, like, half-page rip-offs coming up. And she says, you know... I'm about to die here. And you can see what's going through her head in the final moments. Boom. Pretty gruesome stuff. Anyway, I don't want to reveal the whole 12th book, but let me just say this. This series is amazing. It's hilarious. The art is visceral. And Fire Punch is an amazing series, too. I'm going to get into this next time. There's some through lines that I really want to highlight between Fire Punch and Chainsaw Man. Especially with the end of the first arc, when Dingy adopts the control devil as a younger sister. Well, there's a huge arc about a brother and a sister. It's, it's one of the biggest parts of this series. And then there's even some references to old movies and living in a world where crappy old movies exist. Because Tatsuki Fujimoto is a huge movie buff, like Star Wars and Big Lebowski and all the classics. So anyway... Long story short, let me just put it this way. Do yourself a favor. Pick up this book series. Watch the anime. You will laugh and you will cry. I guarantee it. So, only one more order of business. Gotta get all this straightened out because I completely mixed it up. Here we go. You know you want to see the completed product here. You know it'll make you as satisfied as it will me. Here we go. Yeah. And then we gotta fix it. I don't want you to see him looking so up. And here we are. Chainsaw. 